everybody. I'm home. I got home today. I feel like a champ. I had a lot of you inboxing me. You can see my stomach going down. I'm inboxing me about why I'm going back into surgery. Well, I went back into surgery because this breast wasn't getting the blood circulation so the so it died it wasn't getting enough blood circulation um, apparently when i was so high off of the first surgery i was on some pretty strong pain meds that i fell asleep on my side and pushing on the the breast and the veins couldn't um, get the 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 blood flow. So I pretty much killed the tissue. So it's important that you do not sleep on your breast or on your side once you have the surgery. And I did that. Um, so the flesh was, was dead. So we had to go back. I didn't have any more fatty fat and skin down here because he already did the but he already had taken it off and put it up here. But I lost it. The um the flap from down here. So he had to go on my back. I don't know if you can see on showing the back. So I had some fat on my back. A flap that he used. Um can you see it? He used the flap from my back and put it here. So that's what you're looking at right here. Isn't that amazing? I tell you, I love my doctor. He is so amazing. He is so wonderful. God has really, really used him to really help me. The surgery went well. Um, I stayed in a couple of days, of course, to um, let them take care of me. But today I was strong enough to come home. So Alexis is back at it. I got my drains. I got two drains. One drain was for the back and one drain for this breast. So um, I'm stuck with two drains for about a week. So remember how she cleans the drain, squeezing and getting all the tissue out of it. And then she measures it for my doctor. And when the um, fluids diminish, then that tells him when he could pull, pull the drains out. So I'm going to be with him for a while because as you can tell, they, they pretty full. So it's important, you know, that we, we get all the fluids out and we measure them. Um, so he'll know how much fluids is coming out. Alexis is a champ at it now. Remember to squeeze, you want to squeeze the, the bottle and then you put the lid on top. So when, as the fluids is coming out your body, this acts as a suction cup. So it just sucks that extra fluid out. I'm full of stitches. This is the first breast from the stomach flap. It survived and it's doing a, and it's doing a beautiful job. It's, it's almost rare. They took some of the stitches, stitching out already and this has been what two weeks yeah it's been almost it's been two and a half two and a half weeks and i tell you it's doing good so i'm i'm having a little discomfort from my back so i don't know how i'm asleep i know i can't sleep in the bed um i gotta uh, somehow lay on my back and make sure that I don't lay on this breast because of stopping the, 
the, the blood flow to the tissue. Mm -hmm. Kind of like my hair. Yeah. <laughs> so my girls are taking good care of me. I'm in no pain. I'm a little sore. Of course, that's to be accepted. I got home today and I'm not taking any strong pain meds. I'm just on some extra strong Tylenol because I'm not in any, any pain. And that's a miracle and that's a blessing. The tummy swelling is going down. It's been two weeks since I had the tummy tuck, guys. And uh, it takes about four weeks for all of the swelling to go completely away. But I'm pleased with it already. It's been two and a half weeks. And a lot of the swelling, as you can tell, has, has, has gone, gone down. So in about two to three more weeks, I shouldn't have any swelling in my in my belly. Yeah, I feel great. Just a little fatigued, which is to be expected from traveling home from the hospital. I'm just a little, I'm just tired. So pray for me to get rest. Um, I just need to rest because when your body. It's fighting to heal itself. It drains you of all of your energy. So, Alexis is on. Which one is that one? When you're cleaning, when you're cleaning your um the side over here, get the camera. The side where the two tubes are. Make sure when you use the um swabs with the um. What is that medicine called? That cleaning? Alcohol? Not alcohol. What is that stuff? What those those swabs? Give me. Let me show you. It doesn't burn. Iodine. They don't burn at all. But it's, it has disinfectant on it. Excuse me, I can't talk. Remember, I lost the tooth. Um. So you want to use, you don't want to use the same swab on the, the, the um, when you're cleaning your, your um, surrounding the tube, where the tube is coming out your body. You want to make sure you use one for each drain that you're cleaning. Because you don't want infection to set up. Okay. And uh, Alexis is doing a good job. She has on her gloves. You want to make sure your hands are clean if you're doing it or you wear some gloves because it's imperative that you don't get infection in that in that um, that drain site. So. Whew, this has been a journey. But my doctor, you want to drain that at I'm all? Trying to. There's something blocking it. This tissue that's blocking it won't come out. It, it clogged it. Let me see. Yeah. It gets clogged because there's a blood clots and tissue. Body tissue gets up in there, so it's kind of got it blocked. Um, hmm, I don't, I don't see the. Oh, it's right there. I see it. Yeah, we're we'll gonna have to get that out because that's what's. Does the top come off? Yeah, we gotta just um find something to clean that out. A oh, toothpick. Get a toothpick. No, that's not going to fit. Get a toothpick. The, the drain is clogged with some of the body tissue. Get a toothpick. Mm, and we want to, yeah, just a toothpick to get that tissue from blocking the, um, 
because we need this because this is what I want to make sure we clean that out it's stuck no oh, it is stuck well let me try no it's a big piece of um here there's a trash let me see another one it's a big piece of flesh that's blocking. I can see it. And it, can, it won't come off. You try it again. That's important because I need that suction. Is it coming out now? Making sure that airway is open. come out mm -hmm. I'll punch a hole in the wall with this the entrance all right well you want to sit that down until I get dressed put the bandages back on but I'm healing beautifully it's been a it's been an ordeal you know it's not as bad as it looked for real though and like I said, I'm not having no pain. I had the surgery to remove the fat off of my back to my breast on Monday. And today is what, Wednesday? And I'm not on any strong medicines. I haven't been on any strong medication um, at all today. So that's a blessing. So I'm on the regular uh, tramadol and I want a muscle relaxant and it's been helping me a lot so it's worth it it's worth it and I thank God for my surgeon I thank God for keeping his his word and restoring my body you know it's a process We'll get that out. We'll have to do some work with cleaning that, cleaning that too. You want to hurry because we don't want the to leave that, that open. fluid to come out. Don't you want to close that? The tube. That's like all right. We'll the air get cleaned out. What is that bacteria you're putting on? What's the name of it? It's a bacteria ointment to keep it from getting infected. Is what she's she's putting on it. But you're not gonna put it on this one yet. You're just gonna keep that clean and disinfect it with the swab, the medicated swab. This one is pretty much here another two weeks. A lot of that scarring would disappear. And then I go back in three months and he'll shape them up. He's going to take um, liposuction and take fat from my body and fill it in and shape the breast. You know, so I got one more process to do. But I'm gonna let the, the we're gonna let the body heal. They they wait three months before they do that, and then uh, the healing process from that I was told was even even faster. I think you'll be down for about a week. Um, but with this one, it's a four to six week healing process, or faster. Like I said, this breath was done two and a half weeks ago and it did well. The other one I fell asleep on and I, I stopped the blood flow and the tissue started to die so he had to find, he had to get tissue from my back. Um, and that's what we did on Monday and put the flap on my right breast. And it's warm, it's soft and um, 
I'm not going to lay on it this time. I was on some heavy duty drugs after the first surgery. So I must have rolled over on the breast and, and, um, and uh, stopped the blood circulation. Because when they take the breast, the, the fat and the tissue and the skin from your body and, and um, transplant it here, they also put a lot of things together, blood vessels, so the tissue can live. Now we stop. It got it out. You got it out? I just need to get the air out so I can breathe in it. Okay. You did it. Good job, Madeline. She has on her gloves and she cleaned out the little, she unclogged it. And that was clogged again. So this tissue can stay alive. You have to have blood flow going to the tissue. Well, this in here is fat. Yeah, that's tissue. This is just tissue. It's not any liquid. It's just tissue. That's why it's not coming out. Okay, so that's fine. Yeah, let me put it back on. Mm -hmm. No, madam. Not pulling it. She has on her gloves. Oh, no, I thought she was about to pull it. But no, she knows system. not to pull it. I got a lot of doctors. Let's see here. And then put this back on. This is how. There we go. I got it on. It's on. Good. She didn't get all of it. That's important to get this all out. That's fat. It's a lot of tissue in there. So we're going to squeeze it. And we're going to put the top on it. But we got to get this all out tonight. And she has to measure it. Unless you could tell how much was left in here. But somehow we got to work it. We have some tissue in this liquid that's clogging it from coming out. But this is supposed to be completely empty. But we'll worry about that later. Gotta sit up. Uh, mm -hmm. So I, I have to be very creative in sleeping tonight. I'm not on any uh, melon, no. No, your sister already cleaned it. You should have brought up my oh, thing. Get back, Madeline. Okay? You just watch. She wants to be doctor number three tonight. Put the bandage on the back. There's no pain. Amazing. I, I'm at, I am so amazed that I'm not having any pain. I'm sore, but I'm not having pain. And that's a good thing. So I'll heal faster. This one will heal faster than he did a, a good job. Make sure you keep put the bandage on on. She want to keep the area clean. So we're gonna keep keep bandages over it after you clean it. Just on with the bra that fastens up front. I got a bra, y'all. I haven't been in a bra in almost five years. 
almost forgot how to use it. No, I didn't forget it. It's like riding a bicycle. Once you learn, you don't forget it. You don't even learn. It's just easy. It's comfortable. Okay, you're touching the floor with your gloves so you know not to touch me again, right? <laughs> All right, and that's it. Voila! Yeah, this, this, they have pulled a lot of tissue. And we'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for the prayers. I'm home, and I'm doing absolutely wonderful. When I tell you the surgery was a miracle, it's a miracle. That's five, six doctors said no to me. No, we're not touching you with your blood disorders. God sent me up to an awesome doctor. And he is determined to get me back restored as close as possible. So I'm pleased. I have a shirt that one of my followers sent me that holds these drains. I'm gonna put that on tomorrow. And I'm praying that she can get those shirts in all the hospitals. Because I tell you, those shirts come in handy with these drains. I'll give y'all all her information tomorrow when I put it on. But in the meantime, I'm going to use my little patch. And, um, it's easier when I'm in my drains to keep this hospital gown, a hospital gown on. I don't have to lift my arm. Thank you, Madeline. I don't have to lift my arms. Let's lift my arm or he cut um, a portion of my back. The fat flat and put it here. So, talk to you guys later. I get my teeth next. See you later.